Hey, what's going on guys? So, uh, I broke my camera and I broke my tripod. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see from the, the title, uh, I did fall down some stairs when I posted my hot sauce video with Vinny. I kind of played it off a little bit, but I was in a lot of pain. Um, I, luckily, I didn't break anything as far as I know, just some deep bruising and uh, uh, some scrapes and things like that. Uh, what happened was I was at my uh, parents' house, they have an outside deck, um, and uh, we were planning on doing a hot sauce video. Now we were just having a little bit of a get together, uh, just immediate family, um, just basically doing a barbecue, and um, I uh, said, you know, hey, you want to do this video? And he said, yeah, sure, I'd love to. We kind of got everything ready to go, and it started pouring outside, right? I mean like torrential downpour, it only lasted about five minutes, and then it stopped. So I said, well... Let's go do it. <laughs> if you're still, still in the mood to go do it, yeah, absolutely. So I went outside and I was wearing uh, flip-flops that have no um, traction on the bottom whatsoever because they're pretty worn out. And I was holding the hot sauce in my left hand and I had two spoons in my pocket <laughs> for our uh, taste testing. And I had my tripod with the camera on top of it in my right hand. And as I started walking down the stairs outside the deck, they're just, you know, wood deck stairs that are open to the left and to the right is the foundation of the house. And there's probably like maybe 11 or 12 steps. I got down maybe three or four of them and it was just like a cartoon. Both of my feet went out from under me and I fell down the steps. Uh, and it was not pretty. I mean, I, I, I could have been a lot worse, I suppose. Um, but like Vinny, the only person who was outside was Vinny, he was uh, just smoking a cigarette off to the side and, and he kind of saw me from a distance and he's like, oh my god, dude, are you okay? <laughs> and I just kind of paused for a second and the whole time I was falling, I was holding my tripod like up because I just did not want to hit the camera or anything. I was so worried about the camera. I just let my body do whatever it was going to do. If you've ever fallen down stairs before, it's kind of an awkward feeling because as you're falling, you know you're falling. Uh, and you want to brace yourself and you know put your hands out and stop falling or whatever but in this case like I said I just I was so worried about the camera breaking ultimately the camera still broke and the tripod broke um, so it's kind of uh, like I don't know a hidden blessing I guess because it forced me to finally upgrade I bought a brand new camera and I bought a brand new tripod which I'm using right now um, so yeah this is kind of the before video this is the last 1080 video for a while anyway because the new camera shoots in 4k uh, the whole point was to upgrade all right there are a bunch of channels that shoot 4k um, obviously if you have a 4k tv and you put my videos up on the tv the quality is going to be a lot better i mean i thought the quality is always fine 1080 is pretty it's still pretty standard uh don't get me wrong and a lot of people do look at stuff on their phone and stuff but the quality will be better it'll be a nice upgrade so the very next video that you see will be the first one with the new camera all right and then i'll show you the old camera now the old camera that i'm filming with right now if i flip this viewfinder around i can look at it upside down it is a sony handycam hdr-xr160 um my first uh my first thought was to just replace the camera so this is what was happening if you've noticed the last probably five or six videos have been kind of blurry you know, they, it, what happens is my camera, as I'm, I'm doing something, uh, especially, you know, when I have movement and stuff, it slowly goes out of focus. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's something I could fix. Maybe I can. Maybe I can fix it. But my immediate thought was, I can't have this. I can't be, you know, posting videos that are going out of focus all the time. If you've noticed that they're a little bit choppy, too, because as I'm talking, I'm noticing in the viewfinder that it's going out of focus. And then I have to cut film restart what I'm saying, you know, and I have to kind of <clears throat> zoom in and zoom back out so that it, it repositions and the autofocus is working again. So it's more than a hassle and it's something I couldn't deal with and I thought, you know what, I guess it's time, let's upgrade. So uh, yeah, so I bought a camera and I bought a tripod. This is my old tripod. This is a Targus. Let's see what model this is. I don't even know if it's on here. Um, I thought it was on here somewhere. Anyway, um, I got this from Walmart probably, I don't even know, this was, uh, this is my first tripod, so I don't know, 11 years ago, something like that, and uh, it broke at one point, and the weakest point on these tripods, this has been an awesome tripod, I, I can't complain, it's been here years and years and years, been abused many times, but the weakest point on these is when you open up the tripod, alright, let me try to do that here, okay, these little arms, 
or attach the legs. Okay, that's what keeps keeps it open, right? But there's a plastic piece, all right, that is a very, very weak point. It's just very cheap plastic, okay? So even though the entire tripod, like the, the aluminum is fine, like you're never gonna easily break the legs, that's where the weak point is. The, this little plastic bit just snaps, and I've had one snap before. <clears throat> and coming down the stairs, two more of them snapped. So you can see everything is like electrical tape together. Plus over the years, I, I broke the tab off of here for one of the legs, I don't know what happened there. I broke one of the feet off, completely broke off. So, I mean, it's been through the ringer. Um, it was a good tripod for many years, but you know, it's just, it happens. I, I take the thing everywhere and uh, eventually it broke. The one I have now is, I'm trying to look at it while I'm talking here. Uh, F-O-S-I-T-A-N. CT51, um, so whatever that is, that it's awesome. I love it. Uh, this was like a $50 tripod. The old one again was like 35 bucks, something like that. I actually, when this first broke, I wanted to replace it. I bought the exact same model through Target, literally the exact everything, and it was not the same. The company changed how it was. The newer one was like a really cheap plastic. I ended up returning it. Just not happy with it whatsoever, even though it was supposed to be the exact same model. But anyway, so that's that. That's the tripod. So that now is garbage. And here is the new camera. So as I mentioned, I film on a Sony Handycam. All right, it had 1080 capability way back in the day when people were posting 720 uh, videos. 1080 was awesome. It was very hard to upload 1080 videos. I have a poor internet connection where I am. Um, so at some point I said, you know what? I don't care about the extra time. And I said, yeah, let's do 1080. Now that I'm going 4K, it's going to take even longer to process videos and edit them and upload them and stuff because it's a higher quality uh, video. But it's time to upgrade, right? Got to get with the times. So yeah, here it is. This is a FDR-AX43. Uh, it is an upgrade uh, to the old camera. Um, has a huge, huge uh, lens in comparison to the old one as well. But what's nice about this one, and I did a lot of research on different cameras, and I, I was going to go a couple different routes. Uh, watch a lot of videos on, you know, good YouTube camera setups. Um, but ultimately, I already purchased my uh, editing software, which is Pinnacle Studio Pro. I used to have, I want to say it was like number 12 or something, the 12th edition of it. And now I upgraded to the 22nd edition, which is one behind what it is. Because I bought it on sale a couple months back. Now they're up to 23. But uh, it'll be plenty fine with uh, all the features and stuff. So, new editing software, new camera new tripod we should be uh we should be good to go uh one of the other reasons why i got this is because i invested in batteries and a charging pack and this one takes the exact same batteries as the camera i'm using right now so it came with one battery pack but i, I spent like a hundred hundred dollars on one particular battery that has a longer um you know lifespan and so it just it all worked out it, again a little bit more familiar with the camera so it's not totally new to me um, better quality 4k videos and like I said I already had the batteries and stuff so this was the uh, the pick for me so the very next video I'm gonna do is going to be with this new camera and it's gonna be a test video I'm just gonna show the old camera I guess a little bit um, and maybe a couple knives I just want to kind of see how the audio is gonna be uh, there is a boot on top if I want to you know eventually invest in a uh, external mic which I may or may not do. Of course, you guys feedback the video. I mean, the sound quality should be the same as this, if not better, but we'll see. And then of course, the video quality. I wanna make sure that the autofocus is good. Cause again, you guys know I'm sitting here and I'm talking about things, I'm showing a knife and I kind of come in close. And when I pull back, I mean, I need that autofocus to be in tune with that. So there's not a lot of blurriness. I, I want, even though it's 4K, it still has to be in focus, right? So we're gonna see what happens with that. Like I said, totally sucks that I, I fell and it broke, but you know, if you're an optimist, you would see that as, I don't know, some kind of sign. It's a forced upgrade, which was very necessary anyway. So that is it. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And you can look forward again until tomorrow when I have the, uh, the new video. We'll see how the quality is. And of course, I want all your feedback to let me know what you think of it. So this is the, you know, kind of a test video, I suppose, the before. And ironically, my camera, I don't think, went out of focus entirely throughout this video. It's, who knows, maybe it's fine. I have no idea. All I know, all I know is that I noticed it going back and forth, and it was happening a couple times. I, I don't know why it was happening. But regardless, even if this camera's okay, it's time to upgrade anyway. So, it is what it is. 
That is it for now. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.